Hello everyone, I'm Steve the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video of Skyrim Skill Analysis. Today's skill is Light Armor, and Light Armor is, a, I think, a very hard skill to come up with perks with because, let's be honest, armor is usually just, you get more protection from it. That's really what it is, you know? It's like, you bump up the skill, you get more protection, you put in perks, like, what can you do did I add on to it. And I think Bethesda, when it comes to light armor, did probably the best they could with it. I, I don't really see, from just looking at it, I don't see any other perks that they could have put in, except for maybe a couple, but we'll get to that. So, um, light armor. It's just, a you know, the first set of perks, you get more light armor. Then it's, if you're wearing a full set, you get a bonus. Then um, there's chances to avoid all hits if you have all light armor then the light armor weighs nothing down. Then if you have a matched set of light armor, then it's even better. I wish that the buff to having a matched set of light armor was actually more, because I feel like only 25% armor, especially with light armor, like you're not gonna get very much until the very end of the game, and by then, everyone's gonna be wearing glass armor anyways, so you're gonna be you know, find finding glass armor. It's not going to be very hard. So I think that the match set, I, I honestly think the match set should do like 50 or 75. And since it's line armor, I think that you should also get a stamina boost with the match set. Really, I think that since line armor is very much based on more so movement than tanking shots, I feel like Maybe there could be a couple perks related to stamina buffs with light armor, but I can see why they also wouldn't do that. You know, stamina, maybe one thing, where like if you have a match set of light armor, you got a 50 or 100 stamina boost. I think that would make it more worth it to wear something other than a match set of glass armor. Like maybe you're going up through, you find some elven armor or guild, you know, whatever. But light armor to me, really, it's never been about the perks you get in both Elder Scrolls and Skyrim when it comes to light armor. I think that it's more been about just the play style and focusing on the play style. And I like that light armor in this game, you know, it, it focuses on the light armor play style. Yeah, it gives you more armor rating, but what are you going to do? If you have full light armor on and you get a speed buff, that makes zero sense. Like, that's why you wear clothing, is for speed buffs. So I think that light armor as a skill, it's more, it's less focused on the actual light armor, and it's more focused on the play styles that come with light armor. And that's where I think one of Skyrim's biggest strengths is if it focuses on the collective play styles that you're gonna figure out that you like in this game. You know, since light armor makes it so it doesn't weigh you down and you can dodge more hits, then if you play as a Nightblade, or an Assassin, or just a light armor fighter, that works for all three of them. You know, higher armor count of course works for all of them, but I think that really just one perk that involves wearing all light armor, or for every piece of light armor you get a stamina buff, or something like that, I think that would be the only perk I would add to Bethesda's version of light armor. and. That's it. It's a very simple skill. The skill tree is extremely simple. It's just a freaking loop-de-loop. And I think that it shows that when a skill is less focused on itself, what it does, and more focused on the collective playstyle, that you're going to be playing with multiple different skills, just like one-handed and block. All right? One-handed and block go perfect together because Bethesda knows most of the time, let's be honest, most of the time, if you have a sword in this hand, you're going to have a shield in the other hand. Like, most of the time, the average player of Skyrim is going to do the sword-shield combo, or the mace-shield combo, actually. But you're going to do a one-handed weapon and a shield. They just, they just know that, you know? And I think that those synergies work well together. So, that's all I really have to say about it, guys. Light armor synergizes well with other skills, and I think that's what makes it an even stronger skill. And it doesn't just synergize with any skills, it synergizes with skills that are going to go together with light armor. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below, guys. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, you can also tell me that. Um, yeah, 
I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam and post of whatever I said to make.